What it do, bully crew? Right here, we got the puppies. Just got finished giving them water, food, cleaned up a little bit. I'm sure a couple probably gonna poop here soon. Little update. These right here are my keepers. I had a couple people was like, man, you selling them? 50K. <laughs> you already know who it is. Prince. Your favorite country, Ricky. Top of the South, baby, Kentucky. This right here are all guap children. We got a little smut. She over there in the bottom left next to her sister, which is a blue tri. We got two blue trials on the right. We got the little lilac tri female on the top right. Another one at the top left. That's a little male. One here in the middle. That's a G baby. That's the crazy one with the crazy head out the litter. Guap son. Uh, bred to a rich daughter. Then we got the three piebald uh, tries, blue tries. One male, two females. Uh, one of them at the top left. She's really, really uh, uh, looking good. Her head is just, 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 just all about it, really. Rear, uh, you know, I'm predicting beautiful rears off that breeding. Um, they definitely need to be wormed. Uh, I, ga I gave the little, the little G, I gave G baby a little medicated bath because he was starting to splotch, you know, from the mange, from the mites. Uh, a lot of people don't realize all dogs have mites. It's just when they have a weak immune system or, you know, they're not getting enough nutrition. Um, the mange can start to, the mites can start to overpopulate, you know, their, their immune system's not keeping them in check. So I gave him a little quick bath to kind of hurry up and get rid of that. Now that I'm on it, man, I know what I'm doing, you know, experience, you know, uh, nipping that in the butt before it gets out of control. Um, what else, what else? You know, just another little update of them. Because I'm enjoying them. Definitely enjoy uh, yeah, trying to spend more time with my dogs, man. Because, uh, uh, you know, they need it. They love it. That's what they live for, really. It's just uh, a good pack leader. If you're not a subscriber, do me a favor. Subscribe. Hit that like button because it helps with the algorithms. Leave a comment. Leave family in the comments. If you done made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm saying... If y'all interested in dogs, go ahead and text me at 270-317-1952. I'm about to put an update video of the puppies I have. I have a bunch of smuts uh, and some blues and some pie balls. Uh, right now, second pick female is sold. There's only third pick female left, and all the rest are males. Uh, you have to look at my prior videos to see them. Tulip, Red Bull, uh, Vienna. Those are the different breedings that went down. Consist of Champ Lucky Luciano, Grand Champion Futuristic, uh, Grand Champion El Toro, uh, Inbred 2X Grand Champion Futuristic, Grand Champion Dirty Bird, Grand Champion Dax out the wazoo. Um, but these right here are my keepers. Not for sale unless you come at me with 50K. Y'all already know what it is. Uh, shipping is available. Extra 550 you're more than welcome to come pick them up yourself here in Kentucky. They are ABKC paper. They should be pockets to micros. I saw my full wit. Uh, what else? What else, man? This right here. Let me decline that. Call my dad back. This right here is third generation. Over here at Greco Bully Camp. Produced uh, the parents for three generations. They are currently the fourth generation on my yard. Uh, I still have my foundation bitch. Uh, she'll be dying here. She won't be going nowhere. That way I can... She, her blood runs through everything in my yard. Or will eventually will. Um, it, she, they're all in these puppies. Um, uh, longevity is key. I want to see how long and what strains of blood I use live longer. So that I can, you know, bring up the longevity of my dogs. Also, I can see what issues I'm having. Um, 
so I can know my bloodline better. Uh, G-Line coming in 2020. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, very happy uh, with all these dogs. These were the hitters out the litters. Um, very selective uh, with my dogs. I kept most of them. I always do. Um, so very few females. So if you have some females off me, uh, just know um, you're <laughs> you're the few um, males. I let them go a whole lot more, a whole lot faster. Um, it's part of you know my my business model. You know I always try to keep the best. Always it's it's a uh, bloodline over money, blood over money. Uh, what else? What else? Um, Pushing my program hard, working hard, putting in a lot of work. Don't matter, you know, if you're smarter than me, if you got more money than me. Hard work pays off. Hard work wins in the end. Great old bully camp, baby. Signing off.